British electric motor company manufacturers, Yassa, they were bought out by Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz saw what they were doing and they offered them a lot of money. Now, why did Mercedes-Benz do this? Well, because they have the most powerful electric motors in the world that are also incredibly small. In fact, Yasa have just broken the world record again for the second time this year for the most power-dense electric motors in history. In the future, the electric motors in your car might weigh only around 10 to 15 kilograms. Now that compares to the internal combustion engines in most vehicles that weigh between 200 to 400 kilograms and are far more complex. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Yasa, we have just received information here. They've smashed their own unofficial power density world record, pushing pretty insane numbers, guys. 59 kilowatt, that's about 80 horsepower per kilo. 80 horsepower per kilo. Earlier in the summer, Yasa actually unveiled their latest electric motors. These small motors had 550 kilowatt, that is 738 horsepower, and they weighed 13 kilograms, 13 kilograms. So you could essentially put four of these in a car, four motors, total weight, total system weight would be 52 kilograms, and you would have 2,200 kilowatt, or around about 3,000 horsepower. And I, guys, guys, honestly, I thought this was just insane. This is a world record, right? Power density world records, 42 kilowatt per kilogram. Just ridiculous. However, the latest testing of their improved version of that motor shows an even lighter motor. It now weighs 12.7 kilograms. And on the dyno, it's been tested on the dyno. So this is not like at the flywheel. You know, most cars, internal combustion cars, they test the power at the flywheel, which is not indicative of real life. So the motor's tested on the dyno and it's 12.7 kilograms. It has 750 kilowatt. That's about 1,000 horsepower. Yeah, I mean, same deal, right? Guys, I use PowerShop for my electricity to charge my EV for free between 12 and two o'clock during the day. I'll put a link in the description. If you sign up with them, you get $170 discount to sign up. Also, my solar and batteries. I've got a 50 kilowatt hour battery here and I've got a big solar array. So I pay $0 for electricity. That's including charging my electric car. Resync Solar is the company that I used. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Four of these would weigh about 51 kilograms and provide 4,000 horsepower. As I've been driving some pretty fast EVs, but I've never driven anything that has that kind of power. That's crazy. So this is the new most powerful motor in the world. It has 59 kilowatt per kilogram. Yeah. Yasa estimates that all important continuous power for the new motor will be in the region of 350 to 400 kilowatts. So continuous power output, not peak out. The peak power output is 750 kilowatt or 1,000 horsepower. Continuous power output is 350 kilowatt to 400 kilowatt or 470 to 540 horsepower. These motors, you would think they're exotic. Surely they've got some titanium in them or some expensive materials, but they don't. There's no exotic materials used at all. And Yasser says this new motor is going to bring game-changing technology, technology to the high-performance automotive sector. These new motors, they're going to make internal combustion look so slow. Supercars right now, there's plenty of them out there, Ferraris, um, Porsches, heaps of them, heaps of supercars, heaps of high-end BMW M5, you know, these sort of performance vehicles in Germany. Honestly, guys, they're going to look so slow. If you've just bought one or you're considering buying one, you'd be crazy. You'd be crazy. I mean, you're going to find that EVs will just beat you so badly on a track or in a straight line, doesn't matter, that your car's going to feel like it's really slow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many turbos you've dumped on it. It doesn't matter if it's a quad turbo. It doesn't matter if it's 16 cylinders like the Bugatti. This is going to make, this is the future. It's kind of scary because um, it's going to be so fast, but uh, this is the future. Now, these motors are designed and developed at Yasser's high-tech Oxford Innovation Center in the UK. And this breakthrough represents another major validation of the company's axial flux 
motors. Crucially, this is not a theoretical model or a digital concept. Yasser says it's a fully functional prototype motor that will go into manufacturing and it will be in electric cars. Compact, scalable, and with no exotic materials used, they say it achieves exceptional performance through precision engineering, advanced thermal management, and optimized packaging. So I'm not exactly sure how this works, but I sure as hell want to find out. The newest BYD electric supercar, the, the track version, which broke the world record, I think it did 496 kilometers an hour, uh, easily beat the Bugatti Chiron for the fastest car in history. That car has three, just under 3,000 horsepower, just under. Uh, but this takes, it, this takes the game to a whole new level. This is literally more than 4,000 horsepower if they were to use four of these motors, weighing a total of 51 kilograms, which is just absolutely wild. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. Bye-bye. These new electric motors are the, by far the highest power density motors in the history of mankind. There is nothing even close. And if you actually think about it, there is no supercar or hypercar, no matter how many uh, liters it is, how many turbos they stick on it, that will have any chance against a car with motors like these. Electric cars now are officially the only way you can actually make a car truly, truly go fast. Anyhow, these new motors are made by, well, technically this is a company, I believe part owned by Mercedes-Benz now, but it is an American company and they've won an award for the highest power density motors in history. Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. I did a video a few months ago showing these in-hub motors with about 500 horsepower in the little motors. You could easily put one of them in each wheel. And actually, in fact, the high horsepower version of that motor had 600 horsepower. So you're looking at a car with 2,400 horsepower with fairly small motors, yeah? Pretty amazing technology. However, YASA, Y-A-S-A, was founded by Dr. Tim Woolmer in 2009 when he was still studying at Oxford. And obviously back then, there wasn't really much going on in the electric car market. Things have changed enormously since then. And Yasser has developed a, a staggering, staggering electric motor, which really puts internal combustion to shame. Yasser motors have been used already in vehicles like the Koenigsegg Regera and the Ferrari Stradell SF90 Hybrid. The Ferrari Stradell SF90 Hybrid, that's really good in drag races. It's one of the only one of the only internal combustion supercars. I mean, it's a hybrid, but one of the only non-EV supercars that can actually keep up with something like a Tesla.